Hey guys, the Jace Dog here, and today I'm bringing to you Firewatch. A lot of other YouTubers have been doing it, so I was like, well, why not? The Jace Dog wants to bring Firewatch to all of his dogs out there. So, you know what? I'm gonna bring it to you. Let's head to Boulder, Colorado in 1975, mofo. Let's do this. You see Julia. Sure do. She's about your age, late twenties, laughing with well dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. What's your you know, major? You you're pretty. I'm gonna go with that one. Cause, just let's, let's just go straight up to her and say, you're pretty bitch. You're pretty, she says, coolly. You are not. You are a future hangover. What? You reply confused? Someone should buy you a cheeseburger, she says. She flags down a waiter, and one week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. What the? Well, that was one good fucking cheeseburger. <laughs> Are we talking about her cheeseburger between her legs? <laughs> Who knows? Maybe we are. Maybe she got her cheeseburger for us on a platter. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, let's just go straight to the car. Now, I know a lot of other YouTubers have been playing this game. But I felt like doing it for you too. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school. With a few of the mountains, you two are uh, you two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants a dog. There's a scruffy, undersized beetle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it to her, uh, with her to her class. This is also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's bad ass. You pick up the beagle and she names him Bucket. You adopt the Shepherd and name him Mayhem. Well, I'm gonna go with the Shepherd because I got a best mate that has a Shepherd. So let's go for the Shepherd. And Mayhem's cool. May uh, Mayhem's an excellent dog. He loves wrestling with you in the park and goes with Julia on her runs. Even though he's too big to bring to school, Julia loves him all the same. Mayhem is a friend, child, and pet all rolled into one hairy meatball. 1979. You talk out on the deck. It's summer. 9.30 p.m. And the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids? She is. Kids? They're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some, a little, uh, a couple little idiots, that would be pretty good. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right. Let's not have these kids be bastards. Hey, look where we are. Hey. Oh, hey, yeah. Wow. Hi, everybody. Uh, we are at Therafall Trailhead. You're in their country. Learn to live with the fucking bears, they say. Oh, well, fuck you, that cunt. I ain't living with no bears. They living with me. 1980. It's a Thursday night, and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you're gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly having uh, she's 
clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. Uh, yeah, you fight when she gets between the sheets. You get mad, you ignore her. Yeah, let's let her cool down and we'll, we'll discuss it later, bitch. You don't touch each other all night. The next day you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her about her evening. She says it was great. You hold on to a tiny pill of resentment. You make some coffee and go the fuck to work. 1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws the, all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like a He-Man. You frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. I pose and flex like a motherfucking He-Man. You look awesome. Oh, hell yeah. Cause I'm awesome. Oh shit. Oh, psh, psh, psh. oh my knees. Oh, oh, Julia, help me. Oh, oh my god. Oh fuck. Nah, no, I'm guess not. It's a game. I'm right. My legs didn't explode. Like my kneecaps didn't pop out. I'm right. Parkour. Hardcore parkour. Oh, fuck. It's gonna explode. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking mayhem at night. There's a festival in the town. It brings folks in town from far away places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Oh, hell no. Mayhem runs away. Me Moo, uh, no, me, me, moo, fuck, d d dog Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she's stressed. You confront the attacker. You scare him away. You beat his goddamn face in. I'm gonna beat his goddamn face in. Your arm gets cut, but you beat the guy to a pulp. <laughs> you don't feel it very tough. You cry, you cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say, okay, you don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. Well, at least we beat into a fucking pulp. <laughs> Deserved it right, motherfucker. Try and pull a knife on me. 1984. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Convince her not to take the job. Agree if she commits. Uh, I'll let her take it. I'm not going to fuck her over. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Cal uh, You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if that's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. Okay, that's alright. Just as long as he gets his dick wet every now and then. Boom! 1985. Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. Uh, eh, let's find what's wrong with her. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She's 41. You both decided to keep it a secret. Why the hell didn't we have macaroni and wine? I should have chose that one. Oh, oh no. It's, it just went straight downhill. Oh, there's a little cozy campsite. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's this? My journal? Okay. Hello. What's beginning? Holy, what the fuck? <laughs> Julia, you bitch. I'm bigger than that. Mayhem is getting older. He's got silver hair down his back and slows down at night. You and Julia walk him to the bar to see your friends and it feels like nothing has changed. Julia goes back to the university. 1987. 
Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in her class. Her research is in shambles. She drives the car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. The popo. She's devastated. She's set on on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the, uh, you get the Julia who calls you a dope and an unborn children and little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic, believing her dad is at the door. Okay. You tell her family that uh, they are crushed and begin to make trips back, uh, to and from from their home in Australia to visit her, where I'm from. Um, for a while, you and your friends, uh, your friends come with uh, come by with little things to brighten up the day. She gets worse. 1988, you spend your days following Julie around the house. You count down the seconds between two visits from Dana the nurse. You just says to live somewhere, a home. It's just with you for a couple of months. Uh, I reckon it'd be probably better for her to be looked after properly. Probably a lot more better because the fact is, <laughs> I don't think this character would be able to deal with it by himself and like an old dog so it'd be pretty hard oh hello are you eating oh <gasps> did I start on you run bitch that's right her family agrees with your decision you find a fantastic place in Boulder and move her there you see her you see her every day then every other day so obviously it stops you go out to a bar with your friends, it's not the same, you're feeling that every wife tells her husband, if you put me in a home like Henry did, I'll cut, off, ooh, I'll cut your balls off. You slowly decide to not see your old friends that much. Fuck that. Your sister Susan moves to Bolton to be closer to her, she visits her every day, you go with her. Uh, some of the time, she's in both your old typewriter and urges you to put it to use. You, if you want to you won't. You always really like Susan. Let's go by Mayhem. Oh no! Mayhem dies? Fuck that! Julian doesn't remember him when you tell her. Sometimes it takes her a minute to lock in on you. In the back of her mind, you believe uh, it's because you see her less and less. And seeing her less and less makes her forget you more, you think. Summer is coming, and you see an uh, ad in the paper for a job. Fuck that! Poor Mayhem. R.I.P. buddy. I didn't know you, but you're a good dog. You take it. That's fucked. He died. No! I just get like I just get the feeling that he wouldn't be able to deal with looking after her by himself at home, so Oh hello. Oh hello dear. This is my house. Oh well, that's good that's a good place. Ah, look out at it. Enter the lookout tower. I shall. Ah, oh, such a beautiful place. Well guys, we're going to end this one here. If you liked that episode, sorry it was mainly just about me just narrating it all to you, but let's just start it from here. So guys, if you liked this episode, make sure to hit that like button hard, but not too fucking hard. Don't break your computer. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and spread the word of the j -Stock. Let's get this thing rolling, guys. And if you want to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, the links are in the description down below. And as always, guys, stay awesome. The Chase Dog is out of here. See ya.